Like the video and subscribe right now, and I'll show you a picture of the weirdest doggo I've seen. Ready? 3, 2, 1. Why do you have Tinder? I need something to do on the toilet. And there's the real brutal honesty. Hahaha, <laughs> absolutely. You'll understand this very soon. NBA does this to you. Lol. A cat is that Doberman in your pictures yours? Roger is my life. He's too cute. And is that your car? That you are driving on the beach? Maybe. Does that make a difference? I just love guys who own an Audi. Okay. What's that thing beside you in your last picture? It's a JCB machine. And it's not mine. You like girls who own a JCB? No. I'm asking you what's that thing beside the JCB in the amethyst shirt? That's me. Are you talking to me or the machine? Wait. You're not the JCB. No. Harsh it I'm Riyaya. Then why do I feel like I'm talking to a gold digger? Nice tits. You too. Petra. First I was afraid. I was petrified. Are you a farmer? Cause I'm attracted to you. Wow I haven't heard that one before. Wow I think that beat my bun. No mine was pretty corny. Lmao I can't wait to hear what you come up with next. Honestly this was amazing. But think I'm out of ideas. Hey. I think we did pretty well. You're so cute it's scaring me. Huh. I tried to make a pun out of your name. But I guess you didn't carry out a notice. What? My hobbies include standing in doorways, complaining about doing my job, and dying in the most inconvenient places. Plant dad. You called? I also like the term foliage father. Can I make that your contact name? For sure. Definitely sounds cooler than. Are we trying to swap contacts right now? Yes we are. Phone. Make mine botany bitch. Which one are you in the pics? I'm the one taking you out next weekend. Oh damn. Why next weekend? The person who wrote the contract said next weekend. I'm a hitman. Listen. I tried to think of something but everything I came up with sounded super generic and unoriginal. Which coincidentally is a pretty good descriptor of the vibe I get from you. Prove me wrong. I think that one hurt more than all the others. If you're looking for someone who is into fitness, well I don't mean to brag, but I can go 25 minutes on an elliptical at a pace that some people would call good enough. Are you into roleplay at all? You can be California's poorly managed forests and I can be a wildfire. I'm so dry and full of untrimmed bush. Hi. Hey. How are you tonight? Good. That's great. You have a great smile. Thanks. How was your weekend? Boring. I'm guessing you didn't have much to do. No. Do you need something to do? No. How about some anatomy to study? Null mayo. I mastered my anatomy. Because I need you to look at my back after carrying this conversation. So what's the creepiest opening line a guy has sent you thinking he's got game? You are so beautiful that I want to be reincarnated as your child so that I can breastfeed by you until I'm 20. Please roast me. I'm okay. You gotta do something about that adult acne. Yeah it's spreading on my face. No. I was talking about the two on your chest. Whoa okay. My turn. Alright. Go ahead. What did two say to nine? Please roast me. Hey there. Hey. When an attractive girl messages you first. No, I'm not subscribing to your OnlyFans. I'm not hot enough for an OnlyFans. But I'm honored you assumed I had one. I'd sub if you had one BB. Oh you're a little heartthrob aren't you? Maybe you can find out more if you subscribe to my OnlyFans. These bots just keep getting hotter and hotter. Bitch I ain't no bot. Holy shit. They actually talk like real people now. Must have touched up the algorithm. Do you ever wake up, kiss the person beside you, and be glad that you're alive? I did, and apparently I won't be allowed on WestJet anymore. When you introduce me, tell your parents we met at a fabric store. Cause I'm 100% boyfriend material. Okay but what if I'm an orphan? Then let me be your daddy. Wanna buy some pics? 
Yeah do you have any good pictures of Steph Curry shooting 3 pointers? Preferably if it's from long range or half court. Not into casual hookups only into ranked competitive hookups. I feel like I know you. I remember you liking it rough. Um. I don't think so. Don't think you know me or don't like it rough. I'll be asking the questions here sir. Lol. Do you or do you not know me? Hahaha <laughs> I'm pretty sure we've met before. Or maybe I've just seen you around. I knew an Aish once that's why. When you said that I was like, is this him? Lmao. Have you ever been to Tomorrow World? Or whatever that EDM festival is? I have. Lol I'm pretty sure at me. We've had Shreks. And been to each other's homes. And are barely sure we know each other. I don't know if this is hilarious or sad. How have you been? Why did we lose touch? Knock knock. Who's there? D's. D's nuts. Damn you got me. Let's watch a movie together. Lol when? Tonight. Big one. Polite greeting or gratuitously honest assessment of the situation and proposition. Duck that polite greeting. Hit me with a proposition. In my estimation, I'm just shy of half a foot shorter than you, so dating is pretty much off the table. But I think we have another two options. 1. You can hoist me up on your shoulders and we can fight bullies in a sort of freak the mighty type of situation. Or 2. I can invest in a step stool and we can meet up for a sequence of highly experimental and likely hilarious shrekshul exploits. 2 please. Featured comment. Kitty08. Huh. He's probably thinking about other women. Him, that guy at the bar, was kinda hot not gonna lie. If you want to be featured in the next video use hashtag dankness. M. Your name is a palindrome, so I gotta ask. Do you like it better from the front or the back? Hey mate. Are the friend zone? Nap as in soul mate. That was an excellent save. I'm a keeper. Okay so what will it take to meet your dog? Well full disclosure, that isn't my dog. I believe that's a form of catfishing. You have such a kind face. Thank you, it doubles as a seat too. Hey, I think I saw you on TripAdvisor the other day. Nope. Yeah, I was looking up the best places to eat out. Okay that was good. If I was looking for a hookup I would've told you to bring a condom right now. Are almost a home run hahaha. <laughs> I'm the kinda girl you can take home to meet your dad. He'll think I'm super funny, and charming, and cute at the same time. He falls in love with me. I think I feel the same way. We get married. I'm your mom now. I confront you, young man why are you on Tinder? You're now grounded. Hey. Hey. What's up? Not much. Oh. So how are you? Fine. That's good. It's always better to be fine than bad haha. <laughs> yeah. So what you up to? Chilling. You? Going to the hospital. Why? Because my back hurts from carrying this conversation. If you could ride, or meet slash see slash touch slash etc. Any dinosaur what would it be? I'm um triceratops, because it sounds like Saran in the middle, when you pronounce it. No way my choice is pretty similar. I think I'd like to try ceratopolis. Oh. My. God how the duck did you come up with that? That's so funny. If you think I came up with that, then this won't be the first time you're disappointed by me. Oh my. I went to school in St. Albans. Where are you from? Hey, just realized I'm already chatting to Simon. So just kind of retracting this message if that's okay. Sorry if I've made it weird. Fair enough but our mum says I'm the better kisser. Glad to see someone has a clever opening line. I've been telling people for years I'm more than a pretty face and great ass. And they never listen. Because they are distracted by the face and ass. Exactly but I'm sure you can relate haha, although I don't have any euphemism as good as yours. Oh it's a daily occurrence, for sure. It's frustrating. Why can't people just see past the nice face and the great ass and just see me for who I truly am a phenomenal pair of tits? I think you'll find that I'm not like other men. I saw right past your face and was looking at your tits from the start. Hello I don't usually message first, but for you, I'll make an exception. 
because I happen to be a math and science tutor who charges $15 an hour. So I would quite literally do your homework. Why did that turn me on? Because nothing ducks you harder than school. You've been visited by a bald guy. This guy will give you a punch, unless you comment. I'm not a monster. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to subscribe for more daily videos.